Year after year, DOT Blitz Week returns, throwing a wrench in the plans of shippers and transportation providers alike. So, if you're wondering what Blitz Week is, how this 72-hour period impacts freight movement, and what you can do to keep your supply chain running smoothly during this year's round of international road checks, stick around. Welcome back to another episode of Beyond the Road. With us today is Mike, a longtime staple of our team here at ATS Logistics. In this video, Mike will outline and explain what Blitz Week is and give you some preparation tips for this year's round of checks. If you find this video to be helpful, make sure to give it a like and subscribe to our channel so you never miss a great piece of transportation industry content. Hi, my name is Mike Zarns. I'm with ATS Anderson Trucking Service, and today, I'm going to talk to you about the Commercial Vehicle Safety Alliance's International Road Check, also known in the industry as DOT Blitz Week. What is DOT Blitz Week? DOT Blitz Week is a 72-hour period where law enforcement officials from the United States, Mexico, and Canada are pulling over commercial vehicles for safety inspections. On average, every minute there are 15 vehicles inspected during this time period. And what are they checking for? It depends. Every year it's going to be something different. They usually will announce it a month or two prior and it could be anything from brakes to wheel ends. We don't know until they announce it for that year. So first and foremost, capacity is going to be reduced. Drivers are going to sit at home and they aren't going to want to deal with the delays that could be impacting them. Second, shippers may notice that there's going to be more tender rejections on their contract freight. Because those drivers are at home, carriers aren't going to accept as many loads, so they're going to be looking for capacity elsewhere. Short mileage runs are going to be more attractive to drivers during this time period than long mile cross country runs. Reason being, they're going to run into less road checks and they can get their freight delivered more effectively and efficiently. Spot market prices are also going to rise dramatically during this period. Because of all the drivers off the road, it's going to increase demand and shippers are going to have to buy every available truck out there if they need their freight moved during that time period. The last thing to expect is driver delays. Why are they going to be delayed? Well, first of all, they got to get stopped for inspections. Those can take anywhere from 15 minutes or longer. If there's an issue found, that driver could be put out of service until that problem is fixed on their truck or trailer. If it's an hour of services issue, then they could be put out of service until their hours are caught up on their logbook. Now, how can you prepare? Well, first and foremost, expect delays. If a driver gets pulled over, he's gonna reach out to you and say he's not gonna make his appointment time. That flexibility in accepting him a half hour, hour later when he gets there is gonna be vital, especially when you're fighting over capacity. Every truck matters. Plan ahead. It's a important to plan and see if you can move your freight up a week or back a week. Anything to avoid that 72 hour period is going to help you save money on your transportation costs. You need to communicate. The carrier should be communicating with you as well as you communicating with the carriers on what those expectations are and how you can execute to meet your goals. Finally, make sure transit times are DOT compliant. Failure to do so is only going to cause further delays and put the driver and carrier in a bad position. Now that you understand what Blitz Week is, how it's meant to keep our roadways safe, and what you should think about as it rolls around this year, let's get a bit more specific. Check out our article on DOT Blitz Week, located on the ATS Learning Hub, for information on what carriers will be checked for this year, and some more tips for planning.